Welcome to the Blank Show. Our first story for today comes from the Mirror newspaper in the UK. This article centers around uh, a family who bought some ice cream lollipops and then got a bit of a surprise in the, in the package, so to speak. So I'm going to read the headline for you guys and then see if you can guess what the missing words are or the missing word. Okay, so here we go. Oh, by the way, here's how the product looks like, so just so you have some uh, reference point. So, I'll read the headline. Aldi shopper has good giggle after noticing Peppa Pig ice cream looking rather blank. I'll repeat. Aldi shopper has good giggle after noticing Peppa Pig ice cream looks rather blank. So what do you guys think? What are the missing words or the missing word in this headline? If you're stuck, here's another hint for you. Uh, a picture of the actual ice cream lollipop thingy that was in the in the package. So yes, uh, if you guessed X-rated, then you were correct. Well done, you win a PP shaped lollipop. So yeah, apparently uh, the parents bought this ice cream for one of his kids, or well, they didn't actually know what was in the package. Package, uh, I presume. But anyway, so they bought this for one of their kids or for the kids and then discovered this gruesome uh, looking ice cream on the inside. I can only imagine that the parents uh, you know, bought a sticker as well, maybe they, they censored out the, the pee pee parts by placing it over the, the, this gruesome, the gruesome parts, I don't know. I'm just uh, making that last part up, but come on now, the, whoever developed this product, could you not foresee a problem with, you know, with your animation that looks like a pp shaped hand? I mean, come on now, people. Think. So, anyway, let's go on to our next story. So this one comes from a website. Let's see if I can actually read it this time around. All that is interesting.com. So for this part of the, the show, I'm going to give you some photographic hints. See if you can guess what the headline was, right? So I'm going to give you some pictures. See if you can puzzle out what the actual original headline was. So you guys ready? Here's the first clue. So here we have a picture of a leopard. Okay, that's clue number one. Second clue is of this wall here. Then we have what looks like an iPad cover. Then we have an owl catching a rabbit. Then we have a man and a drone. And then uh, there's something that looks like a chicken. And then lastly, we have a fish, a worm, line and a hook. So I'll quickly go through those ones with you again. So again, you must figure out what the head, heading or the headline was, the original headline of, you know, from the newspaper. So we have leopards, we have a wall of some sort, we have a cover there, we have an owl and a rabbit, a man and a drone. Uh, we have a chicken, which looks a bit disgusting to be honest, and then lastly this whole fishy thing that you see there. Okay, so what was the headline? What do you guys think? Well, if you thought uh, the following, then again, well done. So I'll read the headline for you. So this one is a little bit grammatically difficult to read. See if I can do it right the first time around. So leopard escape cover up at Chinese zoo yields hunt with 1,000 drones in sky and 100 chickens as bait. Okay, let me try to read that again. Leopard escape cover up at Chinese zoo Yields hunt with 1,000 drones in sky and 100 chickens as bait. So yes, whoever came up with that, that uh, headline, yeah, you need a raise or whatever the opposite is of a raise. So if you're wondering how my picture clues fit in with this headline, let's go quickly go through it so you, so you don't think I'm you know, cheating you. So the leopards, so obviously leopards usually in, the, in a zoo. What is the wall? Well, this represents the zoo, right? So it's a wall, and also this is the Great Wall of, well, Great wall of China, so uh, zoo in China. Um, cover up, so that's the iPad cover. Then we have an owl catching rabbit, so this was the, uh, the hunt. <laughs> then we have a man and drone, so these represent the police officials, which I'll talk about in a second. Then we have a chicken, and then we have a fish and a worm, and this, so look, so this was the bait thingy. So that was the last part of it. <laughs> so just repeat this headline again. Le leopard escape cover up at Chinese zoo yields hunt with 1,000 drones in the sky and 100 chickens as bait. Hey, you get a 
right the third time around. So what exactly happened here? So I'll try to summarize this from memory while also looking at my notes. Not cheating, apparently. So apparently there's a zoo in China and uh, three leopards escaped from their zoo. But instead of telling the people that, hey, we've got some killing machines that are loose in the surrounding area, they tried to cover it up because they were afraid they'll lose you know, funding because it was a, apparently a public holiday period during this time and uh, people usually like to go to the Zoom apparently during this time so they didn't want to lose all this money. So instead what they did was they uh, thousands of officials, nearly 2,000 officials with uh, dogs and uh, lots of drones, nearly 1,000 of them, uh, including uh, man, manned zone, uh, drones, took to the sky. Here's a picture of how it looked like. So they were, you know, surveying the area, trying to find these uh, three leopards. So the first leopard I found pretty quickly. So that one they locked back up again. The second one, uh, they put the police dogs on it and, you know, viciously ripped it up into smaller pieces. So that wasn't a problem anymore. And then the third one uh, apparently is still at large. So well done to this leopard. And we can only send you our wishes, best wishes. We hope you you escape the clutches of the, the government and that you are a future for the unforeseeable future. So for the last part of the show, I'm going to read you a quote from some celebrity, some blank celebrity or famous person. And you have to guess who actually came up with this uh, very amazing quote. So to repeat that, I'm going to read you a quote, see if you can figure out or maybe you know already who the blank celebrity or famous person is who said the following. So, here we go. God created the sun, the stars, the heavens and the earth and then made Adam and Eve. The Bible never says anything about dinosaurs. You can't say they were dinosaurs when you never saw them. Somebody actually saw Adam and Eve eating, an apple, eating apples. No one ever saw Tyrannosaurus rex. I'll read that again. God created the sun, the stars and the heavens and the earth and then made Adam and Eve. The Bible never says anything about dinosaurs. You can't say they were dinosaurs when you never saw them. Somebody actually saw Adam and Eve eating apples. No one ever saw a Tyrannosaurus Rex. So, yes. If here are your <laughs> options in terms of who you can choose from. So, our first candidate here is Carl Everett. So, he is a former Major League Baseball outfielder. Then we have Mr. George W. Bush, who was the 43rd President of the United States between 2001 and 2009. Then we have Mr. PewDiePie, Felix blank blank blank, for God's sake, change your name to something we can actually pronounce. So we have Mr. Felix there, uh, of course, the famous Swedish YouTuber. And then lastly, we have Nicolas Cage, the famous American actor and filmmaker. So if you had to guess between these options, who do you think came up with this quote? Well, if you guessed Mr. Carl Everett, then you are correct. Well done to you. You win another peepee shaped ice cream lollipop thingy. So yeah, um, someone uh, was it in the Boston Globe? A Boston Globe writer said or, or dubbed uh, Mr. Everett here to Jurassic, dubbed him Jurassic Carl because of this uh, re remark of his. Personally, um, I think we shouldn't be too mean to Mr. Carl Everett here and with you know, this whole thing that he came up with. Um, I think we shouldn't criticize him too harshly. After all, no one actually presumably saw his brain up to this point yet. So if no one actually saw his brain, then presumably he doesn't have a brain. And if he doesn't have a brain, then saying stupid things, you know, that would be just, well, will be actually normal. Just that's what we would expect, right? So, in fact, we should make brain surgery, surgery mandatory. So if we can look at everyone's brains around the world, then we can eliminate stupid, you know, in one false swoop. Anyway, let me check my notes. I think, 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 yes. This is the end of the show. I'm supposed to say that, yes. This is the end of the show. If, like everyone said, please subscribe if you thought this wasn't too terrible. 
Uh, till next time, my, na my name is Blank, and this was the, the Blank Show. So thanks for watching. See you next time.